Let's look at some changes in pipe routing. Most new pipe routes start by dragging and dropping a flange into the assembly. Now the flange has extra intelligence and can auto size itself to the port or flange it is assembled to, so you don't need to guess each time or make measurements up front. All you need to select is the schedule. When creating a route you can now specify a default weld gap size to be applied between all the pipes and flanges. We'll see how that works in a minute. Add another flange to the route which again auto sizes and finish it off with auto route to connect the flanges. Pipe routing used to be a labour intensive activity but with all the automation tools now available in SOLIDWORKS it takes no time at all. Just for completeness sake we'll add the reducer and finish the route. SOLIDWORKS of course checks the validity of the route and suggests any changes that need to be made. The weld gap can clearly be seen in the 3D pipe models and the cut lists are accurate and always up to date. If you need to adjust any gaps individually there's a button for that and call outs for each joint. Some big usability improvements have been added when routing using the PNID import capability. After loading the XML file you get a real time report listing not only which pipe routes have been completed successfully but also the port numbers and pipe tags to help you get a clear understanding of what's left to do. Processing the Mix1 pipe route automatically adds the correct size flanges to the correct ports and adds a guideline between the two. You no longer need to be in auto route to convert the guidelines and a right mouse click will cycle through all the possible alternatives. It's simple and fast and of course you have all the flexibility of a 3D sketch to make any modifications you want. If you need to have more control over the location of your pipes you can add dimensions. Dimensions added to pipes in SOLIDWORKS 2011 by default measure to the outer diameter of the pipe so it doesn't matter what scheduled pipe you're using or if you've added coverings the clearance will be maintained. Let's add the next route which needs a number of extra fittings to be assembled. Of course it's not possible to add these fittings until the pipeline is placed so a new dialog called filtered connections shows all the individual pipe sections without the fittings. This gives a clear understanding of where the pipes need to go. We can convert the guidelines like we did before but we can't have pipes floating in space like that so we'll undo the auto route and give it a helping hand using the line tool to partially construct the pipes. When you're done the guideline updates so you can use convert guidelines again and auto route to finish the job. Now when we process the pipe route again the pipe segment where the currently selected fitting needs to go is highlighted in green so there's no confusion. The new branch added to the T causes the filter connection dialog to appear again indicating that this needs one of the fittings in our list to be placed along that pipe segment. This valve needs to go on this green segment but the next valve cannot be placed so we'll just come out of that for a moment, convert the guidelines and go back in to finish processing the pipe. Now the last two remaining valves can be placed. The orientation of a fitting can be set when the fitting is placed but if you need to move them later you can use the new move fitting with triad command. This brings up the familiar triad and allows you to rotate it easily using the on-screen ruler to snap to. If we rotate this T piece a new guideline is added letting you know that we've broken the line and it needs to be reattached. 
We'll just delete these three segments and attach the dangling pipe to the T. Easy. But what about the valve underneath the platform? It can't be reached. Using the move fitting with triad, fittings can be pulled out of the pipeline. A SOLIDWORKS lets you connect the broken pipes using all the slick tools we've just seen. This tool alone will save an enormous amount of time if extra equipment is assembled and pipes need to be rerouted around them. SOLIDWORKS routing is a powerful tool to help every designer in the power and process industries. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Don't forget there's electrical routing too.